Hi Leo, this video is for you if you are in love with or have a crush on someone and would like to know how they feel about you. I'll do two spreads. In the first spread we'll try to see if they feel the same way about you, then if the feelings are mutual. In the second spread we'll look at the potential between you and this person. Or if their heart is with someone else, in the second spread we'll see who is coming towards you in the near future. Please like, subscribe and donate to support this channel. Let's begin. Here's this first spread. Uh, Leo, this is from that person's perspective. We have justice clarified by the Ace of Swords, we have strength, we have the Nine of Pentacles and we have the Will of Fortune. You could be dealing with uh, Libra. So the answer is yes. This person is definitely thinking about you because we've got strength right there in the middle. Strength is your personal card, Leo. So you are on that person's mind all the time, heavily. And uh, I think the Nine of Pentacles right next to the deck is also your energy. That's the way they see you. The Nine of Pentacles is a card of a single person. But most importantly, this is a card of somebody who is self-sufficient, somebody who is independent somebody who is admired by many, perhaps you are the center of attention, um, perhaps you're an eye candy, basically you know your worth and uh, you could be a little bit intimidating. <laughs> a Leo intimidating? Who's ever heard of that? <laughs> I'm saying it with love, Leo. I, I really do. Um, so the first card I came out is Justice and it's clarified by the Ace of Swords. Justice is the personal Libra card, so you could be dealing with a Libra. Or this person wants to uh, get something started with you, right? Justice is all about the legal system. Perhaps this person wants to marry you and that's why we have Justice in this spread. And uh, it's kind of symbolic that Justice is clarified by the Ace of Swords because Justice is uh, holding up a sword in one of the hands and I think that's exactly the sword we have in the, the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is a very straightforward and a direct communication, a conversation. Um, the Ace of Swords could be all about some kind of truth coming out so this person could be confessing their love to you. This person does not want to uh, fool around. There will be they're not going to be around the bush so they will just tell you straight up. So I do think this person is um, trying to find courage <laughs> to um, reach out to you and once they do they will be very um, straightforward so it's it'll be like uh, either now or never that type of an energy that's what I'm picking up here that's why we have justice here right so justice is all about um, you know having justice for them they really want to have justice and in their mind justice is uh, starting a relationship with you, starting a new cycle. Speaking of new cycles, we have uh, the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. This is a new cycle. That's what they, they want with you. By the way, we have three major Arcana cards in the, the spread, so it's going to be an important connection. Whether you want to be with this person or not, this person will leave a mark on your life, a very positive mark. And uh, I don't really see you well, this spread is about their energy, so they're hoping to get the show on the road with you and uh, once they do find courage, once they do man up or woman up, I think they will be very uh, persistent with that Ace of Swords and Justice. Those two cards are very serious cards, very serious cards. It could be a Libra with the Justice card, but I still think that this once perhaps this person is coming up with some kind of a plan, an action plan. Right to make sure you don't say no, to make sure they conquer you, right? Something along those lines. But like I said, this person is about to reach out to you, and they're very serious. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at the second spread. In the second spread, we'll see, uh, we'll take a look at the potential between you and this person. Leo, here's spread number two. Let's see what the potential is between you and uh, the person we saw revealed in the previous spread. We have the Page of Wands, we have the Fool, we have the Ace of Cups, clarified by the Ace of Wands. We also have the Sun in the outcome, and uh, we have the Nine of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Wow, look at that, Leo. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Love, passion, and happiness. But let's start with the Nine of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. This is a repeat card. Um, that is you, Leo. Right? It's like they're putting you on the pedestal. Um, this card of somebody who is uh, sufficient, you know, uh, you are 
in the middle of uh, pretty much in the center of this person's world yeah that's what I'm trying to say um, but like I said this person is perhaps a little bit intimidated by you um, but here they come it will start off with the page of ones the page of ones is a card of communication and it's going to be more of a casual type of communication so perhaps this person just wants to test the waters with you right so they may ask you out they may flirt with you a little bit they may ask you to um, you know go out and for a drink with you and then it will quickly unfold from that point forward because then we have the fool and a whole bunch of aces <laughs> we did have an ace in the first spread so I think uh, once they get the sense that uh, you are open to get something started with them once they're no longer that shy or once they get a confirmation that you're not going to resist them or you're not going to reject them I think from that point on it's going to be it almost feels like the floodgates are going to burst open <laughs> because we've got the fool, the fool is all about taking a leap of faith and then we've got two aces the ace of cups and it's clarified by the ace of wands right? brand spanking new beginnings, the ace of cups is all about emotions and uh, the ace of wands is all about passion right? so we've got both emotions and passion so it's going to be crazy it's going to be like a tornado of uh, emotions it's going to be a tornado of all kinds of uh, interesting stuff, let's just put it that way in the outcome we have the Sun and uh, I kinda already saw and knew what the outcome is going to be but I still decided to pull a card for an outcome and we've got the Sun and once I saw the Sun I decided to stop <laughs> the Sun is a major arcana and it's the happiest card in the deck alright so like I said this is gonna be emotions, passion and happiness overload you will be really happy that uh, you decided to give this person a chance because the fool is all about uh, taking a risk it's all about not being 100% sure it's all about uh, giving this connection, giving this person a shot but uh, let's be honest Leo you are watching this video, you have feelings for this person as well you just um, you're, what I'm trying to, what, what I think I'm seeing here is you would not settle for pretty much anybody whoever comes towards you first of all they have to be brave enough uh, second, of, uh, second of all they have to be on the same level with you and that could be pretty much anything financial um, they should vibe on the same level they should be as educated as you are somebody who is outgoing somebody who is ready to conquer and in that case you will uh, give this person a chance right that's what I'm picking up here and I do see the two of you getting together and uh, the two aces with the sun card come on it's gonna be a lot of fun a lot of love a lot of uh, interesting things happening behind closed doors if you know what I mean and the potential is amazing the sun is the outcome and it's a major arcana so there you go I'm gonna stop here <laughs> if this video resonates with you please like it and uh, other than that have an amazing March and there you have it I hope my readings resonated with you and if they did I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.